The game is really loud. Thank you for letting me know. All right, chat. Today, damn it. God damn it. All right, chat. Today, we're playing matchmaker. We're playing matchmaker. We're going to grab these first, though. We're going to grab some parsnips. Because today, we're playing the... the <laughs> because today, we're playing the rival heart events mod. Which the whole storyline is having Sebastian and Sam fall in love with each other and become boyfriends and maybe do a little bit of little bit of kissing. A little bit of kissing. So today we're gonna be playing through that. But first we gotta we gotta plant the we gotta plant the damn parsnips. I always I always find it so funny sometimes, like uh watching Stardew Valley videos, and it'll be like something completely different. And then they still get to the point where they just like Yeah, okay, so it's just we're just parting these here, make sure we get these, and it's like get to the damn mod, bro. I want to see the boys kissing. I'll see you at the dock, Nino. What does that mean? I'm scared. I'm scared. What does that mean? Okay, okay. So this is gonna be really simple. I think the entire point of this. I think the first. Yo, Sheena, what's up? How's it going? You read three of my messages. Make it four. Right, chat. So I think the point of this mod is that we need to get their heart events up. I think the point of this mod is that we need to get their hearts up, but not so we can marry them. I think there are new events that come along with this so that they kind of get a little bit of a romance going on. So I think the first thing we should do is go say hi to uh, Sam. It's time to kiss your best friend. Oh, do you think there's one for Shane? Actually, if Shane could marry any guy in the... If Shane could marry any guy in the village, who would it be? And why would it be Gus? <laughs> why would it be Gus? Elliot? That's pretty true. Harvey? I actually kind of like that. I feel like he needs Harvey to be a strong man for him, you know? Sam? Sam? Oh, damn it, dude. He's still in bed. Sam, wake up. I need you to just have some true romance in your life. I maintain Willie because of a fan fiction I read two years ago. <laughs> Wait, really? Between Shane and Willie? Actually, I could see that. They're friends, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are friends. Sam is always in bed. That is true. Now, does anyone know with these rival heart events mods, is this the only one or is there actually quite a few of them? Hi, Linus. A stranger. Hello. Are there actually different, like, amounts? Actually, let me look that up. What's the name? Rabies. This is the Rival Heart Events mod. Uh, Boiler's Rival Heart Events mod. That's the one that it's called. But there's a few of them, I think. Okay. Uh, first issue we've run into... Um, Sam doesn't leave his room until, like, 3 p.m. And Sebastian doesn't leave his... Ever. So, we just... We just have to sit and wait for them then. Sam? I mean, Sebastian? Sebi? You gonna... You gonna wake up? You gonna wake up? I also wonder what storyline they'll give them. Like, is it gonna be a... Uh, is it like a friends to lovers? They're in a band, but never realized that the love they wanted was for each other. Is it going to be like a falling out and they come together? Is Abigail going to get involved? What's the storyline here? How do they how do they fall in love? How do you walk so fast? It's just a base game. Come on, Sam. Come on, get out of there. Come on, Sam. There's a freshly hot pizza here waiting for you, boy. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite. Nice. Okay. So I think the first thing we need to do is get them both up to f one heart, which is pretty easy. How do they fall in love? Nino, they been in love? That's actually, you know what, fair enough. <laughs> it's not that they fall in love, it's that they finally admit their love for one another. Also, I think we need to get them up to one heart. I think that's the first thing we need to do. Oh, oh wait, 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 I picked this just for her. Yes. Nice. Best friends to lovers tropes. Chat, what's your favorite trope? What's your favorite trope? 
Haley side quest always. I, I want, I'm curious. No, not no, childhood friends to lovers. You know what, Pyro? I'm kind of, I'm kind of there with you. I, I'm with, I'm a, I'm a. Personally, I'm a, I'm a childhood best friends to lovers or enemies to lovers kind of guy. So maybe it will be like a Sebastian was Sam's childhood friend, and they, and they, they, they met. And, and they, they never realized just how much they loved each other. And Seb Sebastian, let me into your goddamn room so you can fall in love. They love each other. Wait, Alvi, what did you say? Wait, Alvi, what did you say? Dumbass meets another dumbass? <laughs> That's funny. Unlikely peer? I think... I do like an enemies to lovers, if you couldn't tell because of the whole uh, Haley, you know, Haley thing. Hey, when does Seb leave his room? I will eat up gay realization, openly gay the whole time. Oh, so like, oh, Seb, holy shit, we were just talking about you. Uh, here, I need you to have a, um, I need you to have a frozen tear. I really love this. Uh, how did you know? You know what else you really love? But you don't know it yet? The pizza boy. Okay, he just left. Come back here. Oh, you don't know what you're about to get into. <gasps> One heart. Okay, okay, okay. So already, already, we can get to, already we can get our first heart event. Hi, Maru. Quiet, soft, tall, and aggressive short. Is the game lagging for you guys? I have to ask this every time. I have a guess on how this is going to pan out, but I want to see it first. My... I actually have no clue. The chain smoker voice? I can't. No, he's not a chain smoker. He's Batman. He's Batman. Thank you, chat. I appreciate it. All right. Looks fine. I love to hear it. Pam is the chain smoker. Yeah, Pam is the chain smoker. See, Pyro gets it. What's this? Oh, that's Jojamart. For my wife. Oh, shit. Three of them. Hana ha Hanahake? Hanahaki? Am I saying that right? Is that how you say it? Is your favorite? What is that? Talks a lot, listens. That's actually so sweet. Thank you for the smile. Thank you, Athena, for the smile. Now, where do we think they meet up first? What's like the first area they could possibly meet up for our heart event? Where do they go on Fridays? The pub? They go to the pub, right? Surely this is their first area? Surely this is the first heart event? The saloon? Six. I think they're usually there for six. Oh, this does look different. Look, the whole town's here. Ah, uh, Gus, give me another beer. They're coming. Oh, shit, we're getting cinematic shots. Oh, they're playing pool. Did you guys see that shot? I forgot what my Sam voice was. Did you guys see that shot? Looks like I'm finally going to beat you today, Seb. I don't think so. I've got to leave. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you can't beat me if I just quit. Already? But it's so soon. Yeah, where could you be possibly going off to? We didn't even play Prairie King yet. Dude, where could he be possibly going off to on a Friday afternoon? Like, Sib, you don't have any other friends. You're so obsessed with that game, Abby. Just accept that it's impossible to beat. Yeah, Abby, do just never play it like me. Just never play it. She's sick of being left behind by the boys. I mean, they do. When they come in here, Abby does just sit there as they play pool. Just accept that it's impossible to beat. It, it, it actually is. I'd rather play Junimo Kart than, Prairie, than Journey of the Prairie King. Prairie of the Journey, whatever the fuck it's called. Abby, you're such a third wheel. Like a we'll play next week. We'll play next week. Like Thank you for the follow-up, Ron. 
We're playing next week. I've got work to finish. Yeah, what you doing? As if. I bet you're just afraid of. Thank you for the follow, everyone. Welcome in. As if. I bet you're afraid of. I just. Is it just repeating? How many people? Thank you for the follow. What the fuck? What is happening? As if. I bet you're just afraid of losing. I let it slide this time. But you better be prepared for next week. Oh, come on, Sam. Hold your ground. <laughs> oh, and remember. Tomorrow we have to keep working on the new song. <gasps> A duet? A love song? Between the boys? About that. About that. Sebastian, don't break his heart already. <laughs> don't don't ruin his optimism already, Seb. I don't think I'm going. No! What? He's disappointed. Sorry. I got tons of things left to do. Sebastian, don't like what don't let work get in the way of a good romance story, buddy. You don't mind, do you? Uh, n n no problem. Uh, I understand. Oh, he, he's, he's like a little puppy dog. He looks so sad. Great. <laughs> he just doesn't... Sip doesn't pick on other... Uh, Sip doesn't pick up on other people's emotions. Bye, guys. See ya. And off he runs. Do you think Sam has a crush on Sib at this moment? Look, Abby's coming in. Are you okay, Sam? Oh, does Abby know? Does she know that he's got a thing for Seb? This would be such an interesting dynamic if Sam's like the one who has a thing for Seb, but Seb just can't pick up on it. Don't worry too much. Whoa, Cupcake, thank you for the Prime. I appreciate it. I'm sure something is going on. He's never skipped a Saturday. Could you, could you talk to him? W why me? Because you're literally, you're literally the only other person they know, um, Abby. Like who else, who else could they possibly talk to about this? I don't know. I feel like he won't tell me. Just... Just do me this favor, okay? Don't worry. I'll find, I'll find out what's wrong, okay? Just don't be so upset. It doesn't suit you at all. Oh, Jesus. Abby just said, you know, you look prettier when you smile. I'm gonna order us some drinks. You can go and get ready for our arcade night. Oh wait, that's actually so cute. I feel like Abigail and Sam's relationship isn't something that's explored enough. Oh, oh no, and everyone left the saloon because of the sexual tension that was going on in just this room already. Oh, dude, okay. So Seb left for some reason and Sam was upset about it. Now Abigail has to play the wing woman. That's so interesting. That was that was an interesting dynamic. Also, did it play ads twice? What did I miss? Um, we've only just started. Imagine having ads. I know, and you too can can skip ads by having um by subscribing. I just I gotta rip up some Judo Kart real quick to just make me think about that. Sorry, chat. I'm being distracted, but I feel like I feel like I just need to point out that this game, right, is better than Journey of the Prairie King. I subbed in the middle of both ads. Uh. I feel like Twitch has been pushing a lot of ads recently. Because 
it just did two damn it i've it just did two ads in a row but i have it set to ads to play every hour um which means that if i only stream three hours which i usually do you should only get three one minute ads do you see how good i am at this chat Do you see oh fuck? Okay, never mind. Okay, that was a really interesting dynamic. Gus, did you see what was happening over there? Pierre? Hi hey, Gurgis. I had six minutes of ads in a different earlier stream. See that that happens when a streamer sets it. I'm getting three to four ads back to back. One time, I, I think my favorite thing about uh, Twitch is when it does a thing where it plays you two minutes of ads and then it goes to the stream and the stream doesn't work. So you have to refresh and then it gives you another two minute of ad, two minutes of ads. It's great. I would appreciate though, chat, when there is ads because I can't do anything about it on my side. Just, 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 there's no reason to like scream it at me. It just gets a bit much when there's like a hundred people in chat screaming about ads. Just be like, like one person. I like, I can see there's ads. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I can see it. It just gets a bit overwhelming to look down and just see like a big, uh, line about it. All right, chat. The next, and it's the next day of playing Cupid. Just sub, <laughs> just sub. But we gotta look after our parsnips too. We gotta make sure, we gotta make sure, we gotta make sure that we get our parsnips watered. All right, I have no idea what to do next. I'm trying to think. Maybe did, like what what role in this does Ab will Abigail play? What role in this will Abigail play? What more will she add to the dynamic? I also hope this adds like. I also hope this mod explores more of like Sam and Abigail because I always think that's a dynamic that could be really sweet. Like they just seem kind of a bit more opposite than Sebastian and Abigail are. And I like that. I like when there's, I like friendships when it's like two unlikely characters coming together. I think it's very cute. It's a trope that I really enjoy. Let's go be a, let's go be a pizza delivery bo boy again. Let's go be a pizza delivery boy. Willie, do you like pizza? No, Jesus, what the hell? All right, Willie, you weirdo. Pizza delivery. Pizza delivery. Vince, get out of the way. I was going to make a joke. Pizza delivery. With eh. I wonder what the... What do you think the song is? I want them to be a polycue. That could be really funny. Actually, that could be a really funny change. There is a mod for that, isn't there? That could be a really funny dynamic to come out of this. Sam, why are you running away from me? Sam, stop running away. Accept your love for Sebastian. And accept this pizza. There is a mod for that. Where you can, um, where you can make, like, you can marry multiple people at once. I'm actually eating pizza. What kind? This is an important question. What kind of pizza? Maru, get out of the way. Seb? Margarita? Okay, that's pretty that's pretty good actually. Margarita's pretty good. I do like a just simple mozzarella pizza. Sebastian, where are you? Cheese, broccoli, and onions? What? You like cheese, broccoli, and onion pizza? Oh. Okay, I mean, we're an open... We're, you know what? We're an open... We're an open chat. We're an open chat. I'm not one to... I'm not one to judge. Sib, where are you? Oh, he's down here. I'm not a big fan of pizza. I didn't realize there were people who didn't like pizza. Sebastian? Oh, what are you mad about, dude? What do you what do you, did you see that? He was just getting really angry or something. 
Nino shaming me on my pizza toppings. I just, I, I, I just, it's interesting. That's all. I, I just, the broccoli is the main thing, you know, you know, capsicum on pizza. I like, does avocado go on pizza? No, that I don't, I don't think so. <gasps> look, look, oh, wait, wait. They're having secret nighttime meetups. Oh shit. He saw me. <laughs> he just, he just looked straight at me. <laughs> oh, wait, what are they doing? Haley, don't look. What are they? Did he just walk in there? At night? What are you, <laughs> what are you guys doing in there? <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't be looking. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it could be private. I, I, I don't know if I should be looking in there. Vince, don't go into that house. You don't know. You don't, you're not going to like what you're going to see. It's locked. Luckily for us, we have mods. We're breaking and entering. Oh? Oh, they were just... Oh, that's what the banging was. They're just playing some music chat. Oh, that's what it was. Is this a is this a vin is this a vanilla cutscene? Sorry, Sam. I just you. Oh, you're just having a little jam session. Oh, hey, buddy. Why'd you put that in quotation marks? What'd you? Oh, why did jam session? Okay, I get you. I get you. We're trying to start a band, but we still don't know what kind of music to make. You should make some like, like 2000s super pop punky emo. Say Nino, what kind of music do you like? Uh, let's go like experimental noise rock. Yeah, let's do some like diff tone shit. You know what? That's exactly the kind of style I've been thinking about for the band. Sam's gonna get up there and I fell in love with an emo girl or oh, emo boy. All right, I don't care anymore. Oh wow, they really, they really went. They were just jamming. Wait, 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 wait. Sam's already in bed. Damn, that jam session really tuckered him out, huh? <laughs> that jam session really, um... Really... Really... Really tuckered him out. They jam on Saturday. I know, it's funny that... I know, I know it's just the time traveling, but it's funny. Sometimes you gotta... Sometimes you gotta improv when the... When the mods mess up things. <laughs> What would his mother think? See, what would his mother, th what would Sam's mother think of the jam session? See, I always heard canon that Jody is like super religious. In my opinion, I don't know if Jody is the most excess. I don't know if Jody is the most like open villager in the, in Pelican town, you know? Like, I'm not saying she's George level, but I'm not saying she's a cool mum like Carolyn, you know? Kent is t totally homophobic. I mean, you said it, not me. You you said it, not me, but I'm not disagreeing. Yo, Vanishing Coincidence. Thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you for using your Prime on me, if you could use it on anyone. She does visit the altar on Sundays. I'm just saying. Military wife goes to Yoba every Sunday. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if Jody would... I think Jody would use the, would 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 say something or they can do what they want but I don't have to accept their lifestyle, you know? Oh, Robin would be cool with it. No, Robin would totally be cool with it. <clears throat> yeah, just don't get the bed greasy, okay? Robin just wants to see Seb happy. Oh yeah, see, see, Robin would be totally open uh, to Seb 
and Sam dating. In fact, I think Robin kind of secretly wants it to happen, you know? Whoa, Amberophilia, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. I think Robin secretly wants it to happen uh, because she's like, it's weird how Sib is a cute boy, but he went through his whole teenage life without ever bringing a girl home. Hmm. Hmm. However, I just... Oh. I, I just don't know how... Uh, I just don't know how 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 open Demetrius would be to it. I I, I don't, no, I'm not saying he would be like homophobic. I just don't think. I think he's just a bit like awkward more than anything. You know what I mean? Like I think he just doesn't know how to react to a lot of social situations. So I think he would be like, uh, uh, okay. Maru would be cool with it though, because Maru's fucking sick. Because she's awesome. I think Demetrius would come around to it once he's had a discussion about it with Robin. Like Robin would would be like the one to bring Demetrius around. Does that make sense? Maru has supported that they'd get together for all these years. Anyway, back to the storyline. You're not good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his bedroom? Damn it, Seb, wake up. Wake up, I got tears for you. I got a boy you need to marry. Oh yeah, no, definitely Pond. I actually agree with that. I love Maru, her two heart event just pisses me off. Wait, what's the what's the two heart event? Damn it, Sebastian! You gotta you gotta touch grass at some point. And when you do, I'll be waiting for you to make you fall in love. Oh, here he comes. Can you guys get out? Can you get out of the way? Maru? Maru? Maru, can you get out of the way? Oh, shit. He's right there. You have to be honest with your feelings at some point, Seb. You can't hide them forever. Oh, he's not even at three hearts yet. I think the next one, we have to get them up to three hearts. Perfect. I think the next one, we have to get them up to three hearts. Actually, I can just see. Oh, oh. The next one, we have to have Abigail at three hearts too. I wonder what that means. Wait, that's so interesting. So I guess Abigail does play a bit of a story in this one. Yo, Sushi Addict, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I guess I guess Abigail is going to play a bigger role than this, in this than I ever realized. She is the wing woman after all. George? What were you... Jody, you're at the Isle of, you're at Yoba? Jody, will you accept your son for who he is? He can't change that, Jody. He can't change it. No answers. No answers. I'm just saying she's a military wife. Uh, let's get let's get some let's get some cash money in. Damn it, Jody, don't be a hater. <laughs> Jody, don't be don't be don't be a hater, Jody. Okay, let's buy this backpack. Let's go get Abigail. I feel like George and Evelyn would be supportive. Not George, bro. What the fuck? No, George specifically is the one character in the game that actually says that he is homophobic. George himself literally says the words like, like, 
I don't think two men is natural or some shit. Like he is absolutely homophobic until he changes his mind, until he becomes supportive of Alex. Wait, so where? All right, so Abigail, we need you to to. Yeah. Abigail, where is she? Uh, actually, what the fuck? Where is she? Oh, she's over at the wizard. Wow, sushi addict! Thank you for the tier one gifted. What the heck? I appreciate it. Thank you. Nids two two nids the third. George only accepts you marrying his grandson. Yeah, George would take a long time to accept it. A long time. Uh, let's go to the wizard's tower. Um, <laughs> hey, Abby, don't worry about how I got here. Have a bunch of amethyst. Just a bunch of bunch of amethyst. Just, just, just. This is just so you'll actually be a good friend and help them marry each other. Okay, perfect. Next, I think we have to go to the mountains. I think we have to stumble upon them at the mountains. Just dumping a minecart full of <laughs> full at her feet. You know, just start throwing some rocks at her. Like, yeah, eat that. My head cannon is Alex's is closeted. I actually think hey, like, cause because my thoughts is that Haley is um uh the town town uh uh, like Haley and Haley and Alex are both gay. That's what I think. I think Haley and Alex are both gay. Like, but that could just be me head canning it. Haley, bye. Not until she meets. The, not until she. Uh, meets the farmer. Oh. I thought I think that was meant to work. Okay, okay, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep and let's come back to the mountains the next day and see if that works. Haley gives off, but I'm a cheerleader vibes. Wait, what does that mean? Did you guys see that gay movie that came out about cheerleaders? Oh, what is that called? Bottoms? Was it called Bottoms? Was that it? The, 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 yeah, was that good? Did you see that? I kind of want to watch it. I didn't think about any... I, I never thought about it, but I was like... I, I saw the trailer for it, and I never actually saw it. Okay, why is this not working? Oh, I think we did it too. I think we need to go at nine. Oh, Seb. Wait, is this a default hard event? You having a smoke? Abby? Oh, is she going to confront him? Is she going to let, is she going to let him know? Wait, wait, this could be important. Wait. Hey, Seb. Hey. Care if I join? I needed some fresh air and knew you'd be here. Oh, to live in a small town where you can just go walk up to the lake and your best friend will be there no matter what. Isn't that the dream? This is it. This is it. She's playing Cupid. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, they're sitting. Just relaxing. So, uh, how are you doing? Small talk. Really? Okay, so you don't, you don't have to be a bit of a dick about it. Like, it's like you know what I mean? Like, you just, she's just starting conversation. Well, you have been kind of weird lately. I mean, last week you left the saloon really early. Yesterday you didn't come to play Prairie King with me and Sam. And Sam also... Okay, okay, I get it. 
You can stop it now. Whoa, what, what, what the fuck is Sam? What's going on? She's just talking, bro. To chill. This is what I said. You need to be more in touch with your emotions, Sebastian. More in touch with your emotions. Maybe he's just got like, maybe he's got a crush and he, and he doesn't know how to handle these feelings. He doesn't know, he, he doesn't know, he didn't know he could feel this way about Sam. Oh, Abby's sad about it. All right. I'll tell you what's going on. This is when the I'm hoping this is when it gets super fan fiction like like I hope this just delves into a straight up Wattpad story. The thing is, grab the popcorn chat. <laughs> grab the popcorn. The thing is, I'm Batman. I think I'm gay. <gasps> You think, like, you think, dude? Dude, he said the thing. Let's go. Oh, no wonder he was moody. He was coming to terms with himself. Oh. Let's go. He said it. He said it. Oh, Abby, that's a hell of a response to someone coming out, out, out to you. It was like, oh, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> no, I don't no, no, I love and support you for uh, no matter what. No, I'll, I'll always be your friend. Nothing like that. She's like, sweet ass. Abby's like, bitch, me too. Okay, cool. Th that's all? I just told you something big. Well, how do you want me to react? I thought something horrible had happened. You being gay is cool. She's like, she's like, look at me, Sebastian. Do you think I care? Have you told anyone else? No. Just you. And I, I know Sam sent you, but you can't tell him. Why not? I mean, what? W why? He's been worried sick about you. Well, you see, <gasps> I hope you didn't eat. All, I hope you didn't eat all your popcorn, chat. Get it back. Get it back. We're we're, we're going for a second round. <gasps> oh, she's piecing it together. You're in love with Sam. Let's go. Oh, it's childhood best friends coming together. This is the Wattpad shit I wanted. Let's go. Wait, Abby, stop shouting it. The whole village is going to hear you. <laughs> Abby's like, what did you say? Did you say you're gay and in love with your best friend? Did you, did you, Robin, did you hear that? He's gay and in love with his best friend. <laughs> Wait, I shouldn't be so surprised. Now everything makes sense. So, when are you confessing your feelings to him? Robin's just like inside her house, like, you know, reading her book. She's like, I knew it. I can help you set up a whole scene. Or maybe you can write a letter. 
We can even ask Elliot for help. He looks like a really romantic guy. This is really great news. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, this is... This seems like the last thing you want when you're just coming to terms with your sexuality. There's no way I'm confessing. I don't even know if he's gay. And I don't want to ruin our friendship. Are we sad? Promise you won't tell him. Okay. Sib. Okay. I promise. But at least let me talk to Sam. And tell him it's not... Uh, but at least let me talk to Sam. And tell him it's nothing serious. Okay. But did not tell him under any circumstances. You hear me? Just make something up. Don't worry. You can trust me. I don't... I don't know if we can. Dude, if she outs Sib, that's going to be so fucked up. If she, like, accidentally outs him, that's going to be so fucked up. Thanks. If you want to talk, just call me. Aw, supportive friend Abigail. I'm your friend, and I'm here for you, okay? I know. You should go back now. It's getting late. Okay. See you around. And he pulls out his fifth cigarette for the night. Gay cigarettes. Dude, that was crazy. That was actually crazy. What? Two, two reveals in one. He's gay. He loves Sam. To be fair, Robin found out because she was just listening in her house as, as Abby was screaming it in the mountains. That's crazy. Feel like she's going to get too giddy and accidentally out him? Oh, I think so too. I think so too. Robin's like, I, I, I knew they were getting up to stuff with those sleepovers. She's going to get too silly. Hey, Linus. The Chris Bear of the Wilderness is all I care to know. All right, that's nice. Dude, that was a crazy reveal. That was actually insane. I'm I'm so curious if we'll get to, like, a marriage scene or... I, I, how is it going to play out? I hope it... Could you imagine? Could you imagine if it was, like, if he writes him, like, a love story or a love song or something? Could you imagine if he writes him a, lo a love song? That'd be so cute. Fell in love with an emo boy. Dang, dang it, what did I miss? Uh, so Seb just confessed to Abigail that he's gay. And that he's in love with Sam. That's what you missed. Pretty full on stuff, actually. Linus did, Linus did hear everything. Linus actually did. If he wrote him a love song, I bet that that's kind of like Sam's the writer in the group, though, isn't he? Oh, 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 oh. Got it. Got to water the parsnips. I wonder if there's a Willy marriage mod. I think there is. This is the real reason Linus lives in the mountains. What? So he can listen into all their drama? So he can listen into the town and what they're getting up to? Massive drama, drama queen, Linus. Gossip, gossip girl. Linus is gossip girl. Do you think that the community forums go hard in Pelican Town? Do you think that like community Facebook group in, in Pelican Town goes hard? Like they'll just be like, someone went through my trash again last night. And then Linus heads back and then... And then Pierre heads back when he's like, yeah, people have been going through my trash too. But they all think it's Linus, even though it's me. 
<laughs> they don't know I'm raccoon. They don't know I'm a raccoon, man. Okay, I'm just saying this game is leaving me a lot of daffodils, which is hinting to stuff. The community Facebook group is run by Carolyn. I think it's Marnie. I think it's I think it's Marnie. Cringe but it wants you to be with your wife. It's true. I need hearing for a calzone. That sounds disgusting. Fish calzone? Now, I don't think... I was just looking through this mod before I started streaming. I actually don't think this mod has any uh, dialogue for in-between events, sadly. I think it only has post a hard event dialogue. Um, and nothing for the festivals. So in the meantime, we just kind of run around, like, aimlessly. It's a Haley side quest. Oh shit, there she is. <laughs> that is a big shouting of good mornings to each other. You guys are all excited. Two hearts? God damn it. Hey, where did Sam go? Oh, Sam, where are you going to? Where do you head off to on a Tuesday? Do you go to, like, the museum? Oh, you go hang out with Penny, don't you? Yeah, Sam, what, what, what is this? What is this? Flower petals falling. You're looking over the river with, with a girl. No, I, Sam, this isn't your true love. I, I, I'll push her in if I have to, but this is not who you should be going after. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Your son looks like a girl. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Take it easy. Not a single hit. Not a single thought going through that head of his. Not a single thought going through his head. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. <laughs> Push her in. <laughs> Don't you get in the way of true love, Penny. Don't you get in the way of true love, Penny. Are you going to end up in that river? Penny's in love with Maru? That's so based. Oh, wait. I need to give Sam some pizza. I forgot about that. I think the next one is four hearts. Okay, you're at four hearts. Leave her alone, she's innocent. <laughs> and not at all. It's the ones you least expect. I wonder if Sam's gonna go through his own, like, uh, I wonder if Sam is gonna go through his own, like, journey of self as discovery. Or if he already knows that he's maybe not straight. But he just hasn't told Sebastian yet. What is this, Seb? Oh, hi. Uh, give me one second. I'm just doing a gay test online. I just, I just, I'm just going through, I'm just looking up, am I gay on Reddit? Don't worry about it. There's a buzz, there's a random BuzzFeed quiz I need to do. He's busy, I should leave. Seb's literally just sitting on there, scrolling through an article that's like, that's like 15, 15 ways to know that you're gay. He's busy. We should leave it. We should let him do his gay tests by himself. Where are you going? Sorry, I had to finish this line before I lost my train of thought. Okay, so I got an, I, I got a 95% I'm gay percentage. What does that mean? Does a 5% man chance mean? Ask what he's working on. Yeah, ask what percentage he got on the gay test. I do freelance work as a programmer. Yeah, he's testing compatibility between his and Sam's star signs. I did many a am I gay test. I... Th there is many... Yeah, there is... There is... I, I, I think it's fucking hilarious. That's like so many... There is like one BuzzFeed Am I Gay quiz that I think was just, just must have been shared around like like the gay teen community during, I don't know, 2014. 
I swear to God, it was the same one. Oh God, we didn't give him his frozen tears. Oh wait, we did. He's on four hearts. Every week YouTube just suggests me a uh, Am I Gay quiz. Oh. Look, he's so manly. He's so manly. Have you seen my motorcycle before? It's the My Batmobile. Helps me fight crime in Zuzu City. It's got guns on the front, but don't tell Lewis. Now imagine him and, Sa him and Sam riding on that motorbike. Why did it, why did it get all purple? Him and Sam riding on that motorbike in the sunset, wind in their hair, Sam's arms wrapped around Sebastian. Make it happen, mod creators. I also constant I also constantly get ads. I also constantly get ads for a gay quiz. Um, and I think it's because I watch FNAF lore videos. You know what I mean? Like, if there's anything, I, I think it's because I watch Five Nights at Freddy's lore videos, and it think it's like, you know what? He's going to love this. Let's get it. Let's just put it up. Liking FNAF is a gay trait. <laughs> I'm just saying, when I went and saw the FNAF movie, there was a lot of dyed purple hair. You know? The Venn diagram is a circle. Okay, I think we need to go into town for our fourth. Oh, he's texting. Oh, no, he'll be playing his game. And Abigail, wait, Abigail is walking out of the bushes this time. The farmer hasn't really been involved in a lot of this, you know. Hey. Oh, oh, here you, here you are. Why do they keep meeting up at night? What's like, what's the reason? This made me remember when my sister commented, this is kind of fruity on my Instagram post. <laughs> Why, were you going to see the FNAF movie? So, w what did Seb tell you? Oh, don't worry about that anymore. He's just really stressed. Things have been rough lately with Demetrius. No! Not Demetrius, dude! Oh, she's blaming it on stepdaddy issues. And his mum always sides with him. I guess he just needs some time for his family problems. I like that Seb was like, hey, can you just come up with like something else? And she's like, got it, daddy issues. That's what I'll say. Really? That that's all? And here I was thinking it was because of me. Why would it be because of you? Oh. Is he going to admit something? Yes, Sam. Why would it be because of you? Do you, do you like, like him? Like, 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 like him? Like, 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 do you, do you like him? <laughs> um, because I like him. Look at his portrait. He's so cute. The blush. that wait what wait what <laughs> she's gonna start screaming this to town now she's like wow sam you have a crush on sebastian thank you whoa soup what's going on welcome in abby how are you still surprised like how are you like come on 
Y you didn't know? I, I thought it was pretty obvious. I, I always let him choose the character first when we play Solorian Chronicles. That's how you flirt, Sam? That's- that's your- that's how you f that's your way of flirting? You just let him choose first? This man needs serious help with men. I, I don't think that's what obvious means. Bro, <laughs> Sam flirts by giving him a punch on the arm on the playground, dude. He's like, what? Do you think he knows? I don't think he has a clue because, like, you have zero riz, dude. L plus zero riz. I know you. T I know you talked to him, but maybe he didn't want to tell you the truth. Yo, thirsty. What's going on? Welcome in. How are we? What's up, thirsty? I don't know what I just pressed. Thirsty, oh, once I, um, if I finish this early, which it probably will, if this, I'm thinking I'll play some Suica game. What's up, Thirsty? Imagine if they get characters from Solorian Chronicles to get together. That's, that'd be cute. I know you talked to him, but maybe he didn't want to tell you the truth. I'm not saying he doesn't trust you, but I'm saying he doesn't trust you. But it's obvious he's been avoiding me and not anyone else. Not even Demetrius and his mom when we saw them at the saloon. Don't you think that's weird? Maybe. Oh god, Abby's like, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Right? It makes so much sense. He knows. What if he thinks it's weird and doesn't want to be friends anymore? No! No, Sam! He's just down bad and doesn't know what to do. He's just really, really gay. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Oh, you, you poor disaster of a boy. No! Hi, Dee Dee. Welcome in. Is he even gay? We've never talked about those things. Oh, wait, why did you- wait, he- is he- what, you jump into that? Is Sam gay? I'm sure, yeah, anyways. Maybe he met someone online. He spends a lot of time on his computer. What if he's moving away to be with her? He doesn't know! He thinks he has a crush on a straight boy. He doesn't know. Or him. I, I don't even know anymore. Oh, he's, the gay panic is intensifying. Sam, calm down. First of all, you know him pretty well. He would never judge you for being gay. And your theory about Seb meeting someone and moving away doesn't and your theory about Seb moving uh, and your theory about Seb meeting someone and moving away forever doesn't make any sense. He just uses the computer he just uses the computer to work. Sorry, I like how <laughs> I like how I like how uh, I like how Abby's like calming him down like as he's catastrophizing and losing his mind. It's just a theory. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Fluff. Don't do it. Seb canonically talks about running away to the city. Oh, yeah, he does talk about running away. A gay theory? <laughs> and he's like, that's a theory. A gay theory. <laughs> Listen. I think you should tell him how he- I think you should tell- Listen, I think you should tell him how you feel. Maybe he feels the same way. Y you think so?
if he liked back. If he what? If he liked back, he wouldn't be avoiding me. I don't want to lose him. He's my best friend. What would I do without him in my life? Oh, Sam, you could, it's Sam, you're catastrophizing again. Trust me, Sam. You have to... Trust me, Sam. You have to tell him. I don't know. Okay. I won't pressure you. No, damn it, Abigail. Pressure. Pressure. You hardly pressured to begin with. You were just like, yeah, you should do it. Just know that I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Abby. You're the best. Abby, this is not playing wing woman. Could you please leave me alone for a while? It's, Sam's like, all right, you can piss off now. <laughs> James. He's, he's, okay, Abby, thanks for the talk. Fuck off. I just need some time to think. <laughs> All right, sure, no problem. See you around. She's like, dickhead. <laughs> Holy crap. He's got a crush on him too. Dude, these, these boys are going through gay panic and they don't even realize it. That's crazy. I mean, wow. That's crazy. That's so cute. Abby's not doing a very good job of like being the wing woman though. You know, you're gonna give him a little scooch in the right direction sometimes. Sam, Sam. One sec, I, I gotta beat this level. He's such a gamer. Abby doesn't know how to help. She's not sure what she, what, she's not sure what to do. Abby's trying her best. Do you guys think it's funny that sometimes they spell Abby A-B-B-Y and then and sometimes it's A-B-I? He's, he's such a gamer. Oh my god, there's un... Wait, where did he go? What? Oh, he's making a sandwich. Oh, hi, Nino. I was just about to have a snack. Here, let me get something for you. Sam, your egg just cracked. Oh, no. What a mess. What was that sound? <gasps> this is absolutely terrible. What happened? See, if she's reacting like this to a simple egg on the floor, how, does she, how is she going to react to her son coming out? You know? Sam dropped the snack as he was handing it to me. Sam dropped it on purpose. He thought it'd be funny. You know, I've never done this one before. What? He's lying. You did what, Sam? What's gotten into you? I, I'm sorry about this, Mom. I'll clean it up. I'm just adding in the emotional turmoil. Thanks, honey. She's, she's such a manipulator. She's such a manipulator. Oh, Sam, I'm sorry about your mother. I'm angry at you. I have no idea why you lied like that. I like that she was like screaming at him and then suddenly she's like, oh, it's fine. Just clean it up for me. What? Girl boss guests like gatekeep. I'm late to the party, but I love walking into this chaos. That's that'd be most of our streams. Jody thinks eggs are symbolic of Yoba. <laughs> eggs are so expensive. Are they? You're Holy shit, chat. Girl. Did you guys see the Pokemon drama? This is completely off topic. Did you guys see the Pokemon drama? 
Oh, our parsnips are growing along nicely. No. She, um... No, what's happening? She put out, uh, cookies, right? I heard about it. Wild entitlement. It's crazy. The cookie one, yeah. She put out, um... She released this brand of cookies, right? That... Uh, people found out were like a revamped version of cookies that used to be on the market but aren't on the market anymore. And uh, people were... Com com people were... I'm not even going to say complaining. I'm going to say criticizing the fact that one bag of cookies... One bag of cookies was $7 American. $7 American. Uh, and you can only buy four bags... So it was $24 for four bags of cookies and they're small bags. And um, people were in a chat saying, hey, that's pretty expensive considering uh, like what these are because they're pretty small. Um, and, and she said pretty much like, if you can't afford them, don't buy it. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. You're broke to her chat. She called the she called her chat broke boys. Yikes. Yikes. Oh yeah, and she called them uh she called them stupid too, along with that. Which is uh, Yikes. Just to, oh yeah, she said just a mick to be meant to be broke boys. It's just not, you know, the thing about being a streamer is that money I make from Twitch is, is generously given to me by viewers. Um, so the exchange is money I get is money that my chat has gone. This is my money, but thank you for the entertainment. Here is something. So to then have that and then call your chat broke especially at a time of record high inflation because they don't want to pay $24 for like 60 cookies that are that big. Yikes. That's, that's pretty rough. Anyway, back to the game. I just thought I just, that was like, I usually don't give a shit about a lot of like streamer drama. I just thought that one was a big yeesh. And I, um... I actually like enjoyed Pokemon's content and that was uh, there was a lot of respect lost when I saw that a lot of a lot of big drop in uh, 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 respect see I thought that too uh, naive I thought that too uh, but then you watch it and it's not like that it's not it's she just keeps doubling down and talking about it and it like being serious. Whoa, Dragon Fan Girl, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate it. It like, I thought that too. I was like, oh, maybe she's like just joking. And then I watched it and then I kept watching past the clip and I was like, oh, she's serious. Whoa, they them bones. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you so much. Chat, what was the last heart event that we saw? Okay, so Sam. She just, she doesn't admit, yeah, she just, she just, she just, she just keeps doubling down on what she said if she goes through. It was like, it was not good. Pokey spilling her Kangel vibes. That's so funny. Also, have you guys noticed? Wow, Miki, Amy, what the, <laughs> the human flower of the prime. Did you guys clear passions? Guys, guys, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so kind. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> this isn't. This is. I wasn't. I wasn't talking about the pokey drama to farm subs. But <laughs> thank you so much, Cleopatras. Thank you. If you get a gifted sub, please, please make sure to thank, um, thank Cleo so much. Damn, you guys love the tea, huh? 
You guys love the tea. I can't think of any more tea at the moment that's going on in the stream world. Thank you so much. If you got a gifted sub, make sure to thank the people who gifted it. Um, because it's very generous. Thank you so much. Let's, um, I want to see what we need to do for the next one. I like your fit today. Thank you. It's simple. It's simple. Someone called it a cishet boy fit. And I thought that was funny. I thought that was really funny. Do you actually enjoy drinkable tea? I, yes, I do. I actually enjoy, I love it. Just simple, like English tea. Um, very simple. We need a Nino podcast. Do you know how, I mean, okay. I, I'm already like bogged down with doing a bunch of work for content i could not i could not take on a podcast in my like day-to-day -day life i wish because i would just like sit here rambling what do you mean drinkable tea like physically not tea as in uh 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 tea as in drama thoughts on peach iced tea okay i've actually heard that american tea is is crazy sweet because I've had iced tea, but it's not that sweet. What am I doing? Chat, I've distracted me. I've been, I distracted myself. Oh, we need five hearts of all the villagers next. Abby? You know what, Abby? Th this isn't about you. All right. This isn't about you, Abby. Have some pizza. A new friend? Oh, nice. Five hearts with Abby. Yeah, you do. You need five hearts with all of them. Damn, I guess it's so interesting that you have to get five hearts, like multiple hearts with all of them instead of just Seb and Sebastian. It's also really interesting that the player doesn't really play a role in this get in this mod. Usually you like usually you're the one who's making the choices and decisions, but you're kind of just a passive observer in this mod, which is an interesting take. Iced tea in America is like no sugar. It's super sweet. Oh, wait, Sam, come here. I drink hot brew tea. Eh. Five hearts with those three. Oh yeah, I know it's five hearts. With, that's what I mean when I say everyone is those three. Sibby, 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 Sibby. Sibby, where are you, Seb? We need to have you have a gay... We need you to have a gay fanfic romance, Seb. Seb, you need to have a boyfriend. Oh. Abby? She's playing her tunes. Uh, you know what? Once again, Abby, this, is, this isn't about you. All right? It's about the boys. I gotta go back to work. Oh, bye, Sheena. Sibby, you gotta go kiss some boys, Seb. Oh, wait, I'm giving him the wrong thing. Okay, five hearts, five hearts. Five hearts. Oh, oh, Robin. Robin, you ain't gonna know. Isn't letting me sub? It can do that. It's a glitch that happens. I had it for weeks where I wasn't able to give money to any streamers I watch for literally weeks on weeks. <gasps> Where's he going on this rain? Go confess to your boyfriend in this rain. I mean, future boyfriend, but still. Wait, maybe he is actually going down. Is he going to go hang with Seb? I mean, Sam? <laughs> it's, it's the SNS. It gets confusing. You're going to... You're going to go down? You're going to go hang? You're going to go play games together? Whoa, Sushi Attic, thank you for the 100 bits. I've been watching you on YouTube for a while. Oh, thank you. And just got paid. So I thought I'd show some love and support. Dude, I, I Sushi Attic, I appreciate that so much. I hope you enjoyed the video that came out today. Two hour video that came out today, chat. If you haven't seen it, go watch it on my YouTube channel. Channel. Two hour video. I mean, you know, you don't have to, but I made it long for you guys. Yo, Nepal, thank you so much for the prime. Oh, now that's some, that's some real romance, that, there. Hey, uh, howdy, kid, staying dry. Oh, he's going into the saloon. What? I actually thought he was going to go down to the beach. 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. You could cut the sexual tension in this room with a knife. This is crazy. This is this is actually crazy. Nothing like an ice cold Joja Cola on a sopping wet day, huh? Yeah, this is um. Oh. Get me one of those. I need to cool down. Sam is probably my only friend in this town. Friend? <laughs> I don't. What do you mean, friend, buddy? Yeah, just, yeah. I wonder why. This is crazy awkward, right, Abby? <laughs> this is all. You know what? I want like a pool yaoi anime to come out where they have to play in like a pool competition. Well, so did you just say that Abby wasn't your friend? I'm in love with you, like as a friend. Okay. Okay. So now we need to get to the next five heart scene, which I believe is going to take place at Sa Seb's, Sam's house. Whoops. Abigail, meanwhile, wants to beat her head against the wall. <laughs> She's just a passive viewer. She's like, how how do they not how have they not figured it out yet? Oh, our parsnips are ready. They've blossomed. Yay! And just like the just like our parsnips, love will blossom too. Now I believe, I believe, chat. The next heart event we need is at Sam's house, which I wonder if it's a band practice. Oh god, actually playing Stardew Valley. No thank you. No, thank you, dude. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Do I... Is that... Oh, it was on a Saturday. Wait, can I just... It's locked. Damn it. My bad. We have to sleep. Imagine actually playing the game. Not me, dude. No way. Actually, I am. Currently, I'm playing through chat. I'm playing. I'm, I'm kind of doing like, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm actually doing through a semi 100 days at the moment. What are you trying to do? Big picture? Okay, so Sam and Seb are, love, are in love, but they don't know that they love each other. And we're currently making them fall in love. That's the rundown. The egg festival? God fucking damn it, dude. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. A hundred days of what? A hundred days of Stardew Valley, but everything is random. Marnie! Oh, a kitty cat! A kitty cat! Name it Miso? I always call it Miso. I'm not gonna- you know what I'm gonna name it? I'm gonna adopt this cat. I'm- I'm gonna- I'm gonna name it, um... I'm gonna name it... Um... You know, I had a name. Yeah, perfect. I couldn't think of something funnier. <laughs> I just, I couldn't think of anything funnier. You know, <laughs> I, just, I just couldn't think of anything. I was about to type that name. That's funny. 
Sebastian. Miestian. Okay. Now, now, now it should work. Oh, here we go. I might have to turn my cam off this. Oh, Abby's coming into Sam's house. She's taking a sweet time getting there. Hey there. It's not the most gripping hello. Hey, Abby. The introductions are not that much. They're not that grippy. They're gripping. They're just going to say hey to each other. Thanks for coming. Right now it'd be weird to be alone with Seb. No, no, no. It's just the sexual tension. It was the same last night at the saloon. Hey, I'm also part of the band. Of course I was going to come. I like that they completely forget that Abigail was also a part of their friend group. Seb is late. L let's warm up while we wait. Oh, he's in oh, he just spawned in. Oh, hi, Seb. Oh, look, I can pat him. Look. Whee. Seb, this is the third time you've played the wrong part. Oh, Seb, this is the third time you've played this part wrong. I know you had to skip a few sessions because you were busy, so it's okay. Then why are you calling him out like that, Sam? Let's just keep practicing until you get it right. All right, big, big condescending, buddy. You know, a little condescending. What do you mean? Is it all my fault? Yeah, Sam, you didn't say that in the best way, you know? Like, you, you're kind of like, wow, we sound like shit. Sebastian, why are you so bad at this? Like you also made some mistakes. Wh what are you talking about? Look, right here. What, are they recording it? How did... Uh, are they recording it? Didn't you check the notes I sent you? We changed this part because it sounded off. Oh, dude, they're having their falling out. Oh, this is it. This is the part where they have the falling out and then we have the great comeback. N no, I didn't. No, I didn't check them. I've got other things to do, you know. <gasps> oh, this is the falling out chat. If you're so busy, you could at least put. If you're so busy, you could at least put some effort when you're practicing. You know what? I shouldn't have to come. I'm out of here. And he's like, "Please, you're breaking the band up, and your romance." Oh, this is awkward, dude. Are you okay? Oh, it's like that one episode of Adventure Time with the doors. You know the one where they they form the band. This is Bubbleine and Mar this is Bubblegum and Marceline having that fight in the band episode of Adventure Time. Uh, are you okay, Abigail? Are you okay? Oh, <gasps> that was it. Oh, they had a falling out. Dude. Oh no. Our favorite boys are having a fight. Oh, I just remembered I'm supposed to call my grandma and it's already, he's already forgotten about everything. He's already totally forgotten about the fight, dude. He's moved on. Oh. Abigail! Abigail, what do we need to do to get them back together? What is the- I don't give a shit about this. Abby! Abby- oh, where is she? Abby, what do we do? How do we get them back together? The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. You suck at being a wing woman, Abby! 
You absolutely suck at this. Are you guys singing Katy Perry? What? Chat, that's not even her best. That's not even Katy Perry's best song. Dude, I should have been the wingman. I could have got these boys together. He's not here. Well, the butterflies are out. Where is he? Seb? Seb! Seb, he didn't mean it, Seb! Wait, why would he be here? He's never there. Oh, he's down... He's down the bottom. Seb! Seb, where are you? He didn't mean it! He really, he didn't mean it, Sebastian. Where did he go? Oh, he's down the bottom of town. Sebastian! He didn't mean it! You know, I should be doing something productive right now. I just lose focus too fast. Maybe I should drink more coffee. Oh, no, Seb, you're losing focus because you're going through some feelings you've never known about before. It's okay. It's okay. This poor boy. Wow, Spooksy, thank you for the gifted sub to Fluff. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, look, now he's just staring longingly at Sam's house. Oh, no, he's he's leaving again. He, he's He's off. We need to get them back together. And I think I know how. See, now we're on the recovery st Oh wait, look, they're going into their rooms. Did you guys, did you guys make up? Is it, uh, no, oh no, he's storming out again. Here, have this. Okay. Here's our game plan, chat. Six hearts with both of them. Six hearts with both of them. Now with Abby too. Zip, Sebastian, I mean, Sam, I don't care that you're skateboarding. We've got bigger issues. Six hearts with Abby. Weirdly enough, I don't know why, weirdly enough for this next one, we need three hearts with Leah. Not sure why. Honestly, cannot, cannot tell you why, but that's fine. Do you think this pizza's dripping oil onto our, into our neck? Do you think this pizza's dripping onto us? <laughs> why do we hold it above our head? Oh my god, we're straight into it. Leah. Oh, maybe there's like a romance between them now? That's going to be the next story? You know, maybe this is the romance I want to see happen. Abigail? It's me, Leah. I I'm sorry I scared you. It's okay. I didn't expect anyone to come out here so late. That should be my line. Your son looks like a girl. Thank you, Astro Astaroth. You know. So, what are you doing here? I came to think about this problem. <gasps> Is Leah going to be like the the gay guidance? Is that what she's going to be? Like the gay goddess guidance who shows them the way? The gay sensei? Oh. Anything I can help with? I mean, I know we're not really close, but I'm a pretty good... I mean, I know we're not really close, 
but I'm a pretty good at giving advices. Why did, did she turn Italian there for a second? She's like, but I'm a pretty good. Uh. I'm sure we'll feel better. I'm sure you'll feel better after talking to someone. Actually, it isn't about me. It's about two friends of mine. Oh? You don't know them. They're friends from, uh, an online game I play. Yeah, an online game called uh, Valorant. The, the thing is... They're in love with each other, but don't know yet. And I can't say anything because I, I promised I wouldn't. But now, they're both acting like little kids. One of them is being, sp one of them is being specially stupid. Wh which one is it like? Because Sam's brand of stupid is very different to Sebastian's brand of stupid. But both of them are really dumb. So it's like, which one is it? He just keeps avoiding us and starts silly fights out of nowhere. Oh, okay, okay. That's it's, it's, it's Seb. I'm pretty sure it's his first time being in love and he doesn't know how to act. Ugh, what should I do? This is about Sam and Sebastian, isn't it? Oh God, Abigail, you ruined it. She knows. That was, that was shocking, Abby. You did nothing to hide that. Leah's like, I've seen these boys and <laughs> she knows. She caught on like that, dude. Leah can see gay love from a mile away. How did you know? Isn't it obvious? Sam's actually a great pool player, but he always lets Sebastian win. Wait, is 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 that was him letting was was Sam letting Seb choose the first character actually good flirting? Is that, is that, wait, what? <laughs> Maybe Sam was the Rizzler Drizzler? And Sebastian's and Sebastian always laughs at Sam's jokes, even if they're terribly bad. I was pretty sure they were already dating, but didn't want anyone to know. How did she pick up on this before the rest of us? They're pretty too, they're pretty cute together, if you ask me. Don't worry. My lips are sealed. Thank you. Yeah, but what's the solution, Leah? What do we do? So, about your online friends. Maybe you can give them a little push? That's what I've been saying. Dude, Leah, she's so bad at this. What do you mean? Yo, Ava, what's going on? Mods, can we have a shout out for Ava? Ava, how are you? None of them want to make the. F none of them wants. None of them wants to make the first move, right? I'm sorry, but when it's written like this, I just can't help but imagine Leah speaking in like a mobster voice. Yeah, hey, none of them wants to make the first move, yeah. You could do it for them. It looks like Sebastian's afraid of being hurt, and that's why he's acting like that. He's pushing Sam away because he thinks he's going to get rejected. And since they aren't going to talk about it directly, you should help them out. Without directly telling them, of course. Leah being the savior is so cute. Look, well, I, look, when I was living in the city, two good friends of mine were in the same situation. Is, is Leah using the... Two friends 
thing now. I knew they weren't going anywhere without some help, so I invited them to watch Rex Christus, my favorite Christian movie about T-Rexes. You know, the movie about the creepy priest. All oh, right, I got that confused. When the movie started, I, I faked an emergency and left them alone. A scary situation really brings people closer, you know? AKA the Velocipasta. Wait, what? Wait, is it actually a Christian movie about dinosaurs? Sorry, we're pausing the mod here for a second. Is it actually a Christian movie about dinosaurs? Chat, holy shit. Wait. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, uh, bookmarking that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's incredible. This is this is going in the video. This is I did not know about this. This is going in the video. Why is there ninjas? Why is he is he half Velociraptor? The man of the claw what is, is he fighting Velociraptors? Is he a Velociraptor? Are the, are the ninjas on his side? This is the greatest I need to watch this. Okay, uh Discord movie night. Join the Discord. <laughs> Join the Discord if you're not already, because they do do movie nights and game nights in there. Wow. Okay, sorry. Back to the... um. Back to the, to the game mod. That was just an important sidetrack. A scary situation really brings people closer, you know? You should do the same. Yeah, you should watch Velocipaster. Is that how you say it? Just set them up so they have no choice but to talk things out. Maybe you're right. Knowing them, things will just keep getting worse and I'll be caught in the middle of it. Thanks for your help, Leah. You're pretty cool. We should hang out someday. Is that the sequel mod? Is this is this the is this the sequel? It's getting late. I'll get going now. See you. Chat, let's see some lesbian pride in chat. Let's see some lesbian pride in chat. Bye. I like that. I like that Leah came through and like started just being like the gay guidance. That's really funny. Hey, have a pizza for that. What do you don't like Pete? Okay, whatever then. That's so funny. 15. Whoa, chat. Holy shit. You got a 15 of lesbian pride. That's so good. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. Uh, Wow. Okay, so they're going to have a movie night together watching something oh hey, 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 abby this isn't about you stop making it all about yourself okay so they're gonna have a movie night together or something or well, abigail is actually finally gonna start playing matchmaker this boy doesn't know what this boy doesn't know what's about to hit him this doesn't even know what's about to hit him will you guys just send any pride that i that i ask you to send is this, do I have this much control over my chat? Hang on. 
Can you guys send um uh send Ace Pride? Uh, chat. Can I get you to send some Ace Pride? Uh, can I call in some Ace Prides? Damn! Holy shit! Whoa! Oh my god! Wait, wait how many prides are there? Sorry, I'm getting distracted now. Oh my god! There's a, I love the ace uh, flag. I think it's I think it's so it's like so aesthetically pleasing. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, 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 let's get um. Oh, 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 there's a bunch of them there. Uh, let's go next up. Let's do um. Let's do uh the let's get one for the uh uh gender fluids. Let's get gender fluid pride. Is it yeah, gender fluid pride next. Damn, there's so many of them. No, holy shit, they actually have that's so sick. Holy shit, that's so cool. Wow, I feel like I have so much power at the tip of my fingers, you know? I've got so much fucking power. That's crazy. That's so sick. Shout out to the gender fluids. All right, thank you, chat. I appreciate that. Even in slow mo, chat going that fast with them is crazy. You, we can make an army. We could take over. Um, we could take over a country. Did you? Did you guys ever hear the thing that it's like? Um, they're now the most frequently used emotes. Oh my god. The, did you guys ever hear the thing that's like you only need I think it's three percent of a population uh to take over a country, so if I have if I have uh how much of a population do you need to take over a country? How many? Okay, so you need 3.5% of a country, right? So you need 3.5% of a population to overthrow a country. So if we go Luxembourg population, that's quite a lot. Okay, okay, I need to think of some small, Liechtenstein population, 39,000. Okay, the country of Liechtenstein has a population of 39,000. Okay. That's only 1,366 people. Now, I have 11,000 followers on Twitch alone. I'm just saying, if there's any, if there's any country where you know, I'm just saying, if we ever want to, you pronouncing Liechtenstein? Okay, Liechtenstein. If we want to, if we want to take over Liechtenstein, we're coming for it. I'm say, I'm just saying, Liechtenstein's a funny name. All right, let's go through. Still wrong? Oh, so sad. What are they gonna do about it? What are they gonna do about it? You know what I mean? What's what's Liechtenstein gonna do about it? They got an army? So do I, baby. What's next? Oh. Okay. Okay. Chat, we actually only have. We actually only have one more hard event left. We only have one. So god damn it, they better get married in this one. I want to see them they, I want them to get together and instantly be married, you know? <laughs> this is this is what I want. I want them to be like, "Well, I guess we've started dating and the next day we're at their wedding." Straight into it. Dang already? It's a very short mod. It is we'll come up to two hours of playing the mod. Hurry up and get married. Oh, wouldn't it be so cute? I don't even know if they can do this. Could you imagine if they like moved in together? They need at least three days before they get married. No, I'll push I'll push it forward. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Oh, 
They're having a hangout. Look. Do you think Sam made him choose first? This is so cute, but we don't care. Because we're just here to get them married. They kick, they replace, they replace it. No, they don't do that to my girl. They replace Pam's trailer with their home. All right, Sib. All right, Sib is at eight hearts. You know, I don't like the, I, I don't like the fact that, I don't like the fact that Abigail has been taking all the credit for being the matchmaker here. I haven't seen her give a single frozen tear to Sebastian or a single pizza to Sam. I've been doing all the work here. I'm the one running up and down Pelican Town to give them gifts so they would fall in love with each other. This is the wrong house. My bad. It's just a natural instinct to walk into Haley's house. I'm the silent cupid of this town. All right, Sam, have some have some bed pizza, so that you fall in love. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that goes to Haley by accident. Well, it's because she's my she's my number one gal. So I just like honestly, whenever I play Stardew, instinctively my like this is the first place I go to. Not even kidding. What did I miss? So much cyanide clown. So much. That so Abby just got like a talking to by the g gay genie? Maybe that's what Leah is. She's like a gay genie. No! You know what Leah is? She's a gay fairy godmother. That's what Leah is. I've speedrun her marriage so many times I can't help going there. Oh! <gasps> I should speed run her marriage. All right, so if we get Abby up. To seven hearts. Nino speed run error. I, I ch I've tried to do it and every time it's been awful. I have the world record. Do you actually? Do you actually have the world record? World record Haley marriage. You're still not on screen? Fuck. Speedruns dislike Nino. I'm I mean I've just thought this is not very good. Haley marriage speed speed run leaderboard Oh Wait, how do I check this? I believe you, but I want to see it. Also the ha habu being at the top of everything is crazy. Uh marriage uh, Haley. Oh, what a flex. Under an hour? Holy shit, Ava. Pop off. The small one, I can handle just about. Dude. <laughs> you stole my girl. Haley is easy, uh, yeah, but only one to ever do it under an hour is, like, insane. Oh, Mal Mal's on there. Lee. That's insane, Ava. There's no way I Cut the bush a little bit there. Time lost. <laughs> the smallest time It is not easy? Ever. No, it's not easy. It's incredibly hard. It's a lot- it's a big challenge. Actually, what? How is this the first run? 
There's so much RNG in this run. How did we get this on the first try? Go! That's crazy. Go! Get into their house! It we got a sand wardrock. Get away. Get into their house! Nice. Oh, that's so interesting. You pass out right yes. afterwards. <laughs> Dude, it's so close to a sub 54. That's really sad. I believe. It's all oh, sub 54. <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> Are you crying or laughing? <laughs> That's so sweet. That's so cool. That's so sick. That's like the only speed run I would ever want to be good at. Okay, let's let's. What are we doing again? What are we doing again, chat? Sorry, I got I got distracted. I got distracted. That was so sick. Sam too. That's impressive. There's actually a mod that changes dialogues for Sam and Seba dating. I've never seen that. That's so cool. Okay. To get the final event. To get the final event, I believe it needs to be fall. They better get married in this. Sam. I need no, uh, guess what? My band is playing a show tonight in Zuzu City. Oh, is that what Abigail told you you were doing? He doesn't know a thing, dude. He, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't know a thing. Meet me at the bus stop around four this afternoon to leave for the show. You better be there. He doesn't know what's about to hit him. This dude doesn't know. He's so oblivious. What's 20? Wait, what's 21? I don't know 24 hour clocks. I think that's... Uh, I think that's... Uh, 10. 9? Maybe it's... Oh yeah, it's 9. What? What? This is what you're doing? No, I... Uh, what the hell? I don't care. I'm here to see... <gasps> Romance? Abby? Sam's walking out of the bushes? Hey, Abby. I, ho I hope I'm not late. They're doing this in the... In the... In the cemetery? This is where you're having this happen, Abby? In the... This is... This seems like something you wanted, Abby, not them. Just your usual five minutes. What's up? What did you want to talk about? Don't tell me it's about Seb. You told him, didn't you? I'm sure he was wearing it out. He doesn't want to see me on anymore, does he? You're catastrophizing Sam. You, she hasn't even said anything. She just said hi. Why else would he be so distant? Whoa, S Sam, slow down, slow down. Also, is Sib just gonna be hiding in the bushes? You got it all wrong. Then it is good news. Does he, does he like me back? Sam, don't. <gasps> he was hiding in the bushes. He was in the tree. Why do they? Why? Do, why is no one in this town normal? Why do they not just like walk from their house or something? Sam, Sam, w what did you just say? He heard everything. Uh. I think my I think my mum is calling me. I'm coming. Oh, she's rocketing. She she went so fast. She just morphed through Sam. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why does he? Why does he look like that? The fuck is this? Is actually, the side profile. Why does he look like that? Dude was blown away by Sib. What is? Is that his old portrait? That's so funny. <laughs> I I said I like like you, okay? <laughs> he was so shocked to see Sib. He was he was blown away by it. I I know you're thinking it's weird. Thank God this is his actual portrait. Could you imagine playing through the entire game and he looks like that? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I tried not to, but you're so... <gasps> Mona's sitting there as a ghost like, on my grave? That's crazy. Damn, he just went for it, huh? He just went for it. Oh, 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 wow. That was unexpected. You weren't going to let me explain. So I had to shut you up first. This is the Wattpad shit I wanted. This is the fanfic writing I wanted. And, and listen, I'm really sorry for acting like a jerk. And also for letting you think I was mad at you. Your son looks like a girl. I don't know what was wrong with me. I know you were pretty... I know you were pretty hurt, and I'll never do that ever again. It's okay. I was also pretty stressed about this whole situation. It's just that you're awfully expressing your emotions. Damn, just roasting me, just kiss Sam. So, uh, what now? Are we officially dating? Do we start acting all lovey-dovey? I wouldn't mind. Is is Abby still behind the bush there? No, she was! <laughs> she was! <laughs> I think you should first give me some credit. I mean, you didn't do shit! I mean, you didn't... You didn't- I was the one getting the pizza and the frozen t the, she didn't do anything! Leah had to give- Leah had to act like the gay fairy godmother and tell you what to actually do. You just- You did nothing in this whole credit. You did nothing during this whole thing. You didn't do anything. Abby! Were you there the whole time? Yeah. I was starting to look like a creep, so I had to interrupt you. I'm sorry, guys. But hey, now you two are together, and it's all thanks to me. Why did I do anything? I asked you both to come here and had something planned. But Sam's big mouth ending up but Sam's big mouth ended up doing all the work for me. So you didn't you didn't even it didn't even go your plan didn't even work and she's taking all the claim. Why is <laughs> Abby, you didn't I'm justice for Leah. Okay, justice for Leah. This is, is such a scam. Just leave. 
I even waited until fall to carry out my plan because I know it's your favorite season. I feel like fall in the cemetery, I, I feel like she did this for herself. Yeah, I don't think she did this for them. I just feel like she did this all for herself. And they're both going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Abby? Why are you playing with our hearts? You could have just told us. Yeah, why didn't you just tell us? Did you torture them for like two months for this? Just for this? It would have avoided so many problems. I couldn't because certain someone told me not to let Sam know under any circumstances. Guys, stop fighting. Everything is okay now. Guys, stop fighting. Everything, it's okay now, isn't it? Yeah, right. Sorry, Abby. I know it was hard for you. Thanks for dealing with us. But now I would like to be alone. Yeah, can you can you get the fuck out of here, Abby? This is the second time she's been told to scram. Right, Sam? Uh, yeah. Don't worry. I was going to leave anyways. See ya, lovebirds. She's still hiding behind the bush. She's fucking, she's perving. What, Abby, what are you doing? <laughs> what is she? She's like, she's like, I was starting to look like a creep, but I'm not. And then she goes and hides and watch her two friends make out. So, where were we? He's blushing. Is she going to watch her friends make out? I don't think Abby's a very good friend. Dude, Abby's a creep. Abby's... Abby, what the f what the hell is wrong with you? I may fight a lot with my pa with my parents a lot, but I know they're just looking out for me. They're doing what they think is best. You're a you're a weirdo. What the hell? Dude, she's been reading too many of those Yaoi comics. I think there's actual um wait, chat. I think there's actual Let me let me have a look at this. Oh. Purchase Winra? No, thank you. I think we can actually get some uh, post-game discussions. I think we can actually get some post... Uh, I don't know, post-together... Conversations? Sorry, I was trying to think for a second. The farmer's just hiding in the bushes? How dare you not own Winra? Please don't tell the police. Please don't, please don't tell the police. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, so if we go to Monday, we can actually see what they say. The farmer... <laughs> okay, so if we go... Uh, I think Sunday... Where you're watching while at work on camera? Can you tell your work we say hi? You're watching this while at work? Alright, let's go see these boyfriends. Let's see what they say. Very daring. Yeah, I hope you have headphones in. Alright, Sib. Hey, buddy. Congrats on the new boyfriend. Hey, Nino. I had work to do, but Sam wanted to hang out. 
I'd invite you, but you know he's blushing. That was that. That's that. That's that's it. That that's it. I'm gonna go talk to your boyfriend. I'm gonna go talk. I'm gonna go talk to him. Wait, does he say anything today? He does. Oh shit, he's right there. I missed him. Hey Nino, he's oh, sorry. We're hiding behind the bushes. It's not the great greatest shot. Any ideas of what Seb might need? Our anniversary is just around the corner. Anniversary? It was the one day. The 24 hour anniversary? <laughs> what do you mean? It just was, it was yesterday. Uh, uh, okay. Wait, does it still say single for them? It still says single. <laughs> Take your pick, chat. Take your pick. <laughs> which one we want? Wh which one we want? Date Seb? Oh, he's not here. I said. Are those for me? I feel the same. Let's take it to the next level. There's one. There's one. I didn't think you felt this way for me. And there's the double, baby. Let's go. I, I guess we're a couple now. All that work. All that work. Coming on done. Wait, so who do we marry? Do they actually have, like, divorce lines? I'm so curious. <laughs> All that work just for... Oh, shit. All that work just for me to swoop in there. Can I marry them too? Can I marry them? God damn it. Need something built? Yeah, you... you I don't know. I tried to think of something funny. Oh. Can I just... Sebastian doesn't want to marry you right now? God damn it, dude. God damn it. <laughs> I tried. I guess... I guess, you know what, maybe this, maybe their love is stronger than I thought. Don't you need to upgrade the house? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
you know, maybe I shouldn't break their love. Maybe I shouldn't play. Maybe I should just keep with bit playing Cup Cupid. Cupid? Maybe I should just keep with playing Cupid. No, do it. All right, you convinced me. I just want to see. I just want to see what happens. I just want to see what happens. Also, how, what's up, Lee Chaton? What's going on? We did a we did a mod where they um where they uh uh. We did a mod where Sam and Sebastian marry each other. Well, not marry, but they fall in love. Oh yeah, 450. Wild, wow, love that. It was pretty funny, actually. Sell a lot of star fruit wine. See, we do this amazing thing called uh, cheats. Where we just, uh, we just cheat it. Nice. And 10 hearts for Sebastian. Hey, Sebi. You don't think you're ready for the next level? But we're, but we're at ten, we're. Maybe I need to get Abigail involved. Maybe I need to get Abigail involved. Damn, he's loyal, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Leah, I need your help. <laughs> Leah, I need your help. Leah, please. Well, I actually think that's where we're in it. That was... Might need to sleep a bit more. You know what? We'll let them be together. We'll let them... We'll let them have the romance they deserve. Um, We did all that. Imagine if we did all that just to tear them apart. I, I, I can't imagine that would be, you know, nice. The house isn't constructed yet. It, 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 it what do we is. It, it, what do we is. It probably has to be um, afterwards, but I also don't think they'll actually do anything. I have a feeling the mod isn't like, like coded so that they actually do anything afterwards. You know, you need to break them apart. No, that's it. I'm putting my foot down. We'll actually be a Cupid this time. We'll actually help them out. Is it anyone? My supervisor said, hello, Nino Keto. Hello, supervisor. Hi. Watch, subscribe. Wait. Uh, supervisor, subscribe to Nino Keto. That's what.